Hello everyone and welcome into Coach Craig Sports. This is the NBA DFS Core Pick video for Thursday, October 31st. If you're joining me for the very first time, first of all, welcome in. Second of all, this is how this video will be structured. We'll be going over the core picks for both DraftKings and Fandle. I will also be posting a morning injury report as well. We got a couple teams on the back-to-back for this slate. It's only a four-game main slate on both sites. The Clippers, the Spurs, and the Grizzlies are going to be those three teams on the back-to-back. So those ones will have an updated injury report later on in the day. But definitely be keep an eye out in the comments section throughout the day as you get all those updates, as well as an updated core, probably about 20 to 30 minutes prior to lock if there are any changes to be had. If there's no changes, we'll leave a comment just saying no changes at this point in time. But with that being said, we're going to get right into it with DraftKings core picks, and we're going to start off at the point guard position with Tyus Jones of the Phoenix Suns, $5,400, looking for at least 27 out of him to pay off at that five times value. Goes against Los Angeles Clippers, should be a pretty favorable matchup for him. James Harden is not known for his defense, and Tyus Jones off to a decent start at this year he's averaging just under 29 DraftKings points on the season currently i'm projected for 30 tomorrow so a little bit upside there going in a favorable matchup we'll see whether or not this game remains competitive or not obviously clippers on the back-to-back phoenix suns are not and then we move down to shooting guard with Kyrie Irving, $7,500. We're looking for 37, 38 out of him. He's been playing really well ever since that first game of the season. So definitely do like his upside. Averaging about 42 fantasy points on the season goes against Houston Rockets. Not the greatest defensive team in the world, although they do have guys that can play defense. But if he gets Jalen Green on him, going to be a pretty favorable matchup just in general. And do currently am projected for 41, 42 points in this game. If it stays competitive, it goes back and forth. It does have a chance for even more at the same time as well. Then at small four, we're going to go with Derek Jones Jr. of the Los Angeles Clippers. Been in that starting lineup for them, playing decent size minutes. $4,400, looking for 22 at him. Averaging just under 22 so far on the season. Goes against the Phoenix Suns. And hopefully it's a back and forth game, so he gets a good amount of minutes. But he's a guy that can contribute in a lot of different ways. Steals, blocks, rebounds, points. You kind of name it kind of made his mark early on in his career as kind of that high-flying dunking guy, but has kind of settled down into a little bit more well-rounded role as of late. Had a really good year with the Mavericks last year. Do currently have him projected for about 22, 23 points. Has a little bit upside for more, has a little bit downside for less. Obviously, it depends on how many minutes he's going out there and playing and how well he's playing at the same time as well. Then we move down to power forward. P.J. Washington been doing really well as of late. $4,800, only looking for 24 out of him. He's averaging 29 so far on the season. Should be a pretty back-and-forth matchup versus the Houston Rockets, and I don't mind that matchup versus Jabari Smith Jr. as well. P.J. Washington, if his shot's going down, he's going to look like a really good value at this price tag. Currently, I'm projected for 29, but definitely has a ton of upside for more at the same time as well. And then last but not least, we have Aviza Zubac at $6,500, probably the easiest play of the day. At this price tag, to pay off at 5X, you only need 33 out of him. He's averaging almost 49 fantasy points per game. Obviously, that does not include Tuesday night's game, as I am recording this video prior to the start of that game even. So keep that in mind, but definitely do like his upside. Scoring the ball, rebounding the ball, playing a ton of minutes. It's a decent matchup versus Joseph Nurkic, Mason Plumlee, and company at that center position as well. You know, if they play some small ball with like Kevin Durant at center, Maybe they run him off the floor, but at this point in time, the Clippers really need his offensive output just in general. So would expect that he's out there more times than not. And I currently am projected for 41 DraftKings points, but definitely does have some upside for more at the same time as well as we've seen early on throughout the season. But with that being said, if you go with the five players that do currently have this year, you have $21,400 remaining, just over $7,100 remaining per player. So a good amount of money left over, whether you want to pay up for a stud player like a Luka Doncic, a Giannis Antetokounmpo, James Harden, a couple different options up there at the very top if you want to do a little bit more balanced budget you can definitely do that as well should make for a pretty interesting four game slate overall but with that being said we can move over to Fandle and talk about my core picks over there as well so I'm going to start off by saying you're going to see a lot of similarities between the two sides today pricing is pretty similar across the board so we're going to start off at point guard with Tyus Jones once again. He's $6,000, so a little bit more expensive on Fandle. Looking for at least 30 out of him. Averaging 29.5 so far on the season. Like I said, on DraftKings, favorable matchup versus James Harden, who doesn't truly excel on that defensive end. You know, the Clippers do have some good defenders, but they're going to probably use those defenders on guys like Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant. So Tyus Jones should be pretty free to do whatever he wants in terms of running the offense. Obviously, a great assist man just in general. But with all that being said, currently I'm projected for 30 to 31 Fandle points tonight. Then we move down to shooting guard with Kyrie Irving, $8,100, looking for 40, 41 out of him to pay off at that 5X price tag. He's averaging just over 41 so far on the season. 
do expect this to be a pretty back and forth game between the Houston Rockets and the Dallas Mavericks. Probably a high scoring game too as well. And if he gets Jalen Green on him defensively, it should be a pretty favorable matchup for him. And I currently have Kyrie Irving projected for 41 FanDuel points. But at the same time, he does offer a ton of upside just in general. So do like Kyrie Irving getting to him once again. Shooting guard's pretty weak on tonight's slate just in general. Then we move down to small forward, Derek Jones Jr., $4,500, so he's $100 more on FanDuel as opposed to DraftKings. Looking for 22, 23 at him. Currently, I'm projected for 23 on the FanDuel side. Obviously, you get the extra point for steals and blocks there, which is something that he typically does do pretty well. So, like him in this matchup, if this game's competitive, he should look really good overall. Definitely has a little bit upside for more at the same time as well. And then we move down to power forward with Jeremy Soen of the San Antonio Spurs, $6,300. We'll see if they end up resting anyone on the back-to-back. You know, if that's Chris Paul, if it's Victor Wembanyama, maybe they might rest on the back-to-back. A couple different options there. If one of the two of those guys end up missing Jeremy Soen, probably benefits in a little bit of way. A couple extra rebounds to go around if Wemby doesn't play. A couple extra assists to go around if Chris Paul is not in that starting lineup at the same time as well. But Soen's played really well as of late. $6,300, looking for 31 32 out of him. Pretty much what I do have him projected for tonight, although he's averaging about 34 so far in the season. Should be a pretty good pace-up spot versus the Utah Jazz just in general. We'll see how that plays out over the course of the year with these two teams. But last year, both these teams like to play pretty quick. Obviously, with Chris Paul in the factor for the Spurs, playing a little bit slower probably than what we've seen in last season. Then last but not least, we're going to move down to Visa Zubac once again. $7,400, looking for 37 out of him. He's averaging almost 47 so far on the season. Obviously, a very small sample size. We don't have Tuesday's game to factor in, as that game has not even yet happened at the time of this recording, so keep that in mind. But I do currently have him projected for 40 FanDuel points, but definitely has a ton of upside for more. Pretty favorable matchup versus Joseph Miller gets Mason Plumley and company at that center position. But with that being said, if you go with the five players that do currently have listed on FanDuel, you'll have $27,700 remaining, just over $6,900 remaining per player. So looking a little bit more like a balanced build type of day, obviously we could pay down in a couple of different positions, pay up for some stud players, whether that's Luka Doncic, Giannis, Kevin Durant, James Harden, quite a few star players on this slate overall. And some of them have pretty decent values at the same time as well. But with that being said, that's what I do have in terms terms of my core picks for both DraftKings and FanDuel. As always, if you have any questions related to NBA DFS, be sure to drop them down in the comment section of this video and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And then once again, in the morning, I will be listing the early morning injury report. Keep in mind the three teams that are on the back-to-back will get their injury reports later on throughout the day. So all those updates will be left down in the comment section as well. And then I will also be listing my updated core as well as the starting lineups down there as that does come out throughout the night. The updated core will be about 20 to 30 minutes prior to lock. And then the starting lineups typically, you know, about 20 to 30 minutes prior to the start of each individual game at the same time as well. But with that being said, if you are brand new to my channel, checking out for the very first time or have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Right now we have NBA DFS in terms of the core pick videos Tuesday through Friday. I got my NFL DFS player pool video coming out once a week, typically on Saturdays. And then last but not least, if you're interested in prop betting, if you're interested in sports betting, whatsoever, be sure to check out the links and promo codes down in the description below for BetUS, Parlay Play, and Price Picks. If you are a brand new user on any one of those three sites, when you sign up, make your initial deposit, you will get a first match deposit bonus. For Price Picks and Parlay Play, it's 100% match up to $100. For BetUS, it's 125% match up to $2,000. So some pretty great opportunities to be had out there. And then with that being said, if you have any other additional questions related to that whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's down in the comment section of this video or on Twitter at Coach Craig Sport, and be more than happy to help you with that journey as well. But with that being said, that's all that I truly have have for today's video definitely do appreciate each and every one you tune in definitely means a lot to me i hope that each and every one of you have a great rest of your day and some pretty good luck in nba dfs for thursday october 31st